Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna see one of the most important concept of the bootstrap, which is the bootstrap grid system. So in the previous video, we see what is the bootstrap breakpoint. So if you have not seen that video, I will recommend you to watch that video first and then came back to this video. And by the way, this video is a part of my bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist. So if you wanted to learn bootstrap 5 from the scratch, then definitely check out this playlist. I will provide the link in the description of this video and also please subscribe to my channel. So if you already access my playlist and subscribe to my channel, then let's start. Bootstrap grid system is the one of the reason why bootstrap becomes so much popular among the world. And in the bootstrap we use the 12 grid system. That's mean you can divide your entire website or you can divide your entire screen width into 12 different portions and each of the portions are equal to each other. Just like take an example, this is our bootstrap 5 documentation page and you can see the entire website can be divided into 12 different parts. And if you look carefully, the each of the sections or each of the components are taking some of the width of our entire grid system. Just like in the web app, our two numbers are taking 12 columns of our grid system, the left side numbers are taking 3 columns, the middle portions are taking 7 columns and our right sections are taking 2 columns. And this is how with the help of the columns we can lay out our website. So if you provide or assign the left side navbar as 3 column width, then the left side navbar will always take 3 column width for this particular screen size. Okay, so also take an example like that if you provide or assign for the middle section 7 screen width for that particular screen size then the middle portions will only take 7 column width it will never take more than 7 or it will never take less than 7 column width for the representing and this is how we set our layout of our website with the help of the columns okay but you can see this website or this layout is for the larger screen width or this website layout is for the laptop or desktop screen width and if you do the same type of layout for the mobile devices you can see for the left side number here is taking so much spaces but if you do the similar type of things for the mobile devices it will only takes up to this much space okay and this is why it can't be visible properly and that's why we need to change the layout and we have also seen our previous video in the booster breakpoint we need to change our website layout for the different skin sizes but we have not seen how we can set up our website layout so let's go and watch how we can set up our website layout in bootstrap we have three different classes and those are container row and column and with the help of these three classes our entire bootstrap grid system is taking place and you can visualize the container as the container of our website so each and every sections or each and every components are is a part of the container okay and inside container we have rows so we already know that what is the row so we know that from the left to right these are the row okay so you can consider as the navbar as one single row that is it is taking all of this width okay and you can also consider as these three portions or these three sections are one of the row or in a different row okay so this is how you can set or you can visualize the row okay and just remember carefully that inside the row our bootstrap grid system 12 grid system is taking place okay just see this purple box is visualizing the row and inside the row we have these 12 different columns okay and with the help of these 12 different columns the bootstrap layout will be done okay just see how we can set up this type of layout with the help of the columns okay so for that we need to write some classes or bootstrap predefined classes and just see though these are the classes like call lg3 call lg7 and call lg2 so you can see this left section is taking three so that's why this is the call and this is the three so that's mean it is taking three and this lg is the infix and we already seen that in the bootstrap breakdown point each and every breakpoints has some infixes and for that view or it is actually the laptop or the large screen view so that is why we have some sub infix as lg okay so that's mean if you write something like that or this class name into another component then this component will always take three column width for this particular screen width or this particular large screen width okay and similarly for the middle section you can see the middle section is taking seven column width so just like this we can write call lg7 and for the 7 it is representing the 7 column and also for the LG it is representing the screen size okay and similarly for the right side you can already show that the call is here and the 2 for this 12 column 2 and for the LG is for screen size okay so this is how you can set up our website layout and just see how we can write this thing in the code so just see we need to define so we need to write some divs okay 
you can take any other HTML tags, but we actually usually use the div tag for the Kusagri system layout. Okay, so just see how we can write this code. So you can see the outer layer, we have something called container. So that's why we have written the class name as container for the outer div. And inside the container, we have one div with the class name of row, just like that. And inside the container, we can have multiple rows also. But just of now, we have a single row. And inside the row, as we have already seen that inside the row, our actual 2 grid system, all of the columns are taking place. So, and for doing the left side view or the call LG3, we just need to write our class name was call LG3. And that is how we can set up the all of this layout. Okay, just see, this is how it is simple that if you write just call LG3, then the whole div section is only taking the three columns. Okay, so if you write four, then this div can be taking up to four. Okay. And just similarly, we have college 7 just like we have college 7 and college 2 here also. Okay, so just see how easy and how simple the all of the bootstrap grid system is taking place. But this layout is only for the large screen view. Okay, for the lower screen view than the large, it is or it layout can't be visible. Okay, and for that, we need to set up some layout change. And bootstrap, we have seen that bootstrap had different layouts for the different skin sizes, and just take one example that how we can set up this type of thing so we already seen that the bootstrap has the different breakpoints and those are extra small small medium large extra large and extra extra large and those are the class infixes so we have seen in this two slide so you can see lg is for the large screen and this is here the class infixes for the large screen okay so similarly we have sm for small md for medium extra large for excel and for the extra small it is none and none means we need to we don't need to provide any class infixes okay for better understanding the bootstrap grid system layout or the layout change in the different screen size just take a demo example or demo website layout example so this is our demo website example and you can see this is for the mobile view in the left side you can see the mobile view or it is for the extra small or the small view and this is how our website can be looks like in the mobile so each of the or each of the components are taking all of the screen width okay but in the tablet view you can see this is the medium screen width or the tablet view the medium screen width some website layout is changed just like this the green side or the green components are taking place into left sidebar and the yellow sidebar is taking right in after the left sidebar or the green sections and also this purple boxes or this purple components are not placed in the full grid system or the full width and those are taking three at a row okay so just see these are taking full screen width and these are taking three in a row okay and you can also see some changes in the large screen view and this is similar for the large extra large on extra extra large but the whole upper portions are same just see for the medium screen width and the upper screen width or the larger screen width you can see these upper portions are same the main difference are here we can see the three components in each row and here you can see four components in each row okay so we need to change some layout for the larger screen view for this purple components and we already seen that how we can specify the classes so let's see how we can define the classes for each of the every components and this is how we can set up the class names and you can see for the mobile screen width as for the extra small screen width we need to no write any infixes so we just simply write call 12 and as each and every components are taking 12 grid 12 columns so just writing code to call 12 call 12 in each of the components okay so for if you write some code for the extra small screen size and don't write anything for the small screen size the extra small screen size layout will be visible for the small screen size width also okay so that is why we don't need to write anything for the small the extra small screen size layout is also visible for the small screens with it and those are we seen in the our poster breakdown video okay but for the tablet view you can see this upper portion is already same and that is for the call 12 so as i am writing call 12 because if you write something for the extra small screen size and don't write for anything classes for the medium screen size this small screen size layout can be taken place also okay for this component only and this is how we don't need to write anything extra for the medium screen size for this component layout okay so you can see for the larger screen width similarly we just written call 12 and we just don't need to write anything here but you can see this green section is taking call 12 but in the medium or the tablet view we need three columns width and then we need to change this call 12 into call md3 okay so for that case we change it to call md3 and md is actually the infixes for the md so call md3 is for the medium screen size three columns and for the yellow section you can see it is taking 12 call 12 and as we need to change something in for the medium screen size we have written call md9 
and you can see for the white font i am representing as the everything for the smaller screen size with or the mobile view and i am written the changes for the medium screen width so these are actually the changes in the medium screen width okay so also for the purple section we need to change something and you can see 4 plus 4 plus 4 is taking 12 so if we specify 4 for one component and the same class for each and every components of the purple class then each of the rows will be taking three components okay let's see 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12 so each of the row will be taking four components and that's why we have written call md4 so this is all for the tablets but in the larger screen view we need to change something and we just no need to change the blue navbar or the blue blue component we don't need to change this left side navbar or left side bar and it is similar for the call md3 and as we already seen that if you write something code for the medium screen width and if you don't write for anything for the larger screen width or the later screen sizes the screen size layout we have written for the lesser screen width or the just above the just lesser than this screen size the layout can be also visible okay so that is why the call mb3 is also visible here and this is also taking three okay but we need to change something for this purple components and that is why we had changed it from four to three so you can see 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 it is taking 12 so if you write 3 then each of the row will be taking 4 components and you can see this is the class infixes for the larger screen width so if you write call lg3 for the larger screen width it will taking 3 as the column width and as it is taking 3 the whole row will be taking 3 components okay so this is how we can set up the layout but we have seen the each of the screen sizes this must be the class names but this will be not work if you write this thing you need to write one single code base and with the single code base all of the layouts can be separated and in the bootstrap we need to merge these styles or merge these classes and how we can merge these classes just see these are the three screen sizes or three screen layout and how we can merge let's see for the blue we have call 12 only so i am just writing call 12 in the green section we have called 12 here but we have one changes and that is call md3 and it is also similar for that so i am writing call 12 and call md3 just with a space separated value okay and just like that for the yellow screen section you can see call 12 call md9 let's see call 12 and call md9 we just known similar with the green screen or the green component it is same but for the purple screen size you can see call 12 so i am writing call 12 for the for the small screen size call md4 for the tablet view and call ag3 for the larger screen view and just remember that as bootstrap is for mobile first view first we write the smaller screen size width okay so if you write call 12 in the last this layout can't be visible for the larger screen view okay or for the lower screen width it can't be taking call 12 okay so firstly taking the lower screen width and then increase it manually okay so uh, so first we write call 12 then call md4 and call lg and it is similar for that okay so if you understand this thing just see how we can do this type of things in the code so this is our actual result actual the output of the final result and we need to code this okay so just see the outer div we need to write container and inside the container we can have different rows and you can see we have written three different row this is row 1 row 2 and row 3 and inside the row so for the blues or the blue component we have call 12 so i am just writing class as the call 12 but for the green screen size or the green component and it is and i'm just taking this as a row and in the green component i am just writing call 12 and call md3 just like we have seen here call 12 and call md3 with a space let's see with a space i am just writing this and for the yellow you can see it is similar to the green and for the purples or the purple components we have a separate row and in the row we have writing call 12 call md4 and call lg3 just like here call 12 call md4 and call lg3 and don't forget to write it in the separate way or in a continuous increasing the screen size way just like first write for the lower screen width and then increase it manually just like first of all write for the extra small screen size then i am written for the medium screen size and then i am written for the large screen size and let's see how simple your website layout can be done with the help of the bootstrap and this is why bootstrap became popular
So why Bootstrap became popular? Because Bootstrap provides the easiest way to lay out our website. Just remember three classes, container row and different column sizes and that's it. You can set up your own website layout. I hope you understand it properly and if you still have any doubts, please comment it out and I will surely reply you as soon as possible. And in the next video, we will see the practical demonstration and that's mean we will code all of these things in the VS code. And I believe if you practice the code, you will understand it more clearly. So let's meet in the next video. And if you have not accessed my Bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist, then access it with this link. I will provide this link in the description of this video. And also please subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.